The crash left two vehicles engulfed in flames, a man dead, and another person in the hospital. What led the deceased driver, 80-year-old Walter Johnson, to get on the highway going the wrong way, still unknown. Here's a closer look at the signs on the exit ramp he likely entered, a do not enter in wrong way. Now here's a look at the ODOT wrong way detection system on several exits along I-71. When a vehicle goes the wrong way, bright lights start to flash and warn the driver. ODOT Press Secretary Matt Bruning says the system has been triggered at least 200 times since 2019. We've been able to stop several of these drivers, turn them around either um, at the ramp or at the very least it has alerted our traffic management center that someone has now entered the highway the wrong way. But the system is expensive and there are more than 5,200 exit ramps across Ohio. The department has tried to target ramps where there are known issues, like drunk driving arrests or nearby bars. And those drivers tend to look down, not up, so we've added signs lower to the ground to try to catch their attention. Bruning points out ODOT isn't responsible for all highways. He also says the department has not heard from any cities that are looking to try the technology, but says the department would be happy to help. Matt Bruning tells me that ODOT is looking to expand that detection system, but it's just not feasible to install it at every exit ramp. He says the one thing that they cannot control or out-engineer is driver behavior. If a person is intent on going the wrong way, there's just not much the department can do to stop them. In Mount Healthy, I'm Christian Hauser. Sure, you could stop watching now, but let's be honest, you want to see more. So click some of those links, or better yet, go ahead and tap subscribe. That way you'll catch more content from Local 12.